It's the first ground hornbills I've seen in the Mara. And they are so relaxed. One literally walked right past the car. I don't know if it maybe smelled the coffee that David and I have brewing inside. Um, but it was amazing to see how relaxed they are. Now, we've had some spectacular sightings of the southern ground hornbills down in the Sabi Sand in South Africa. However, it's normally at a bit of a distance. These guys are so relaxed. They're like the Kruger hornbills. They don't really seem to mind the vehicles whatsoever. Now, that one you can see was digging in some dung, uh, looking for some insects. I'm going to reposition quickly because there's a whole family of them. There was even a little juvenile. Let's see if we can get another view. They're now moving off the road, though, so it's not going to be as close. Let me just turn and have a look. Oh, they're gone that way. Oh, hang on. They've, what have they found here? bit hard to see. They actually might be coming back this way again. They, they're moving around quite a bit. There's one, two, three, four, I think I saw four adults and then one juvenile. There we go. Gobbling on all sorts of wonderful things. Find us a chameleon. I know a lot of you wouldn't be too pleased if a hornbill caught chameleon, but it is such a spectacular sight. This is really nice. Now, obviously, these beautiful birds are cooperative Oh, what have we got there? Oh, is it an African sacred ibis? That's nice to see. Haven't seen one of them for a very long time. Just popped to see them on the river cam every now and then. But what I was going to say about the hornbills is that they are cooperative breeders. So it'll be interesting to see who's the dominant breeding pair here. And the others will just help raise that juvenile. And hopefully it will successfully make it to adulthood. Um, unfortunately, they don't normally make it to adulthood, which is quite sad and it'll be with this group for the next seven years or so. Huh. Let's see how the... Well, look at the size difference. That's actually quite a nice comparison. The African sacred ibis versus the southern ground hornbill. Now, they don't look like they're too much bigger, but I promise you the hornbills are much larger than the ibis. They're a lot more robust. They've got a massive wingspan too. Huh. Quite happily living in harmony. It's interesting. I don't know why I thought that a southern ground hornbill would be a little bit on the bossy side and sort of kick that uh, ibis out of the way. But it doesn't seem to mind it at all. Awesome. Now, we're very, very lucky to, of course, see this, to see these birds. They uh, are relatively endangered. And again, to have them so close and not bothered by us at all is really nice.